It's your boy, the Grant Master. And it's Business Startup Friday. And I want to talk to you about the four most common mistakes that businesses and nonprofit organizations make up when they try to start a business. If you want to solve social problems by starting a charitable nonprofit organization, you might want to stop and consider what I'm about to tell you. Starting a nonprofit organization is complicated with many missteps possible. Going on nothing with sustainable financial health for a nonprofit is not for the timid. To understand what a nonprofit is, for instance, there are many types of nonprofit organization or nonprofit organizations. There are public charities. This is what we usually think when we're solving community and social problems. These groups educate, heal, advocate, and bring people together to serve specific community problems. They receive special treatments from the IRS, such as being able to provide tax deductible for their donors and exemption from many of federal and state taxes. You need to understand how charitable and nonprofit organizations are different from for-profit organizations. For example, a business that pursues, pursues a profit, profit is its only reason for existence. However, nonprofit organizations pursue a social mission first. And all in income, all its income goes towards that mission. A for-profit business is owned by someone, either a person or a stakeholder. A charitable nonprofit belongs to no one. And answers to the public for its existence for the common good. Here are the four common mistakes that nonprofit organization founders make. To avoid them will help empower your organization. Number one is poor research and planning. The lack of planning for your nonprofit organization is the most common mistake that nonprofits make. Your enthusiasm is good. Many nonprofit organization founders forget about their type of business. Businesses that have plans beforehand, nonprofit organizations that have plans beforehand, before they even launch, is most important. What is your plan before you start your nonprofit organization? Most people launch their, no, their nonprofit organization and don't even have a plan. What is your plan? A business plan includes an evaluation of your environment, the resources of funding, potential products and services that will be offered, and to whom, and the needs assessment. 
The needs assessment is why are you even in existence? A needs assessment is the need that you're trying to solve in the community. What is your need assessment? Number two, man, and this is the reason why a lot of organizations fail, a lack of financial knowledge. Behind not having a solid plan is an unrealistic expectation about funding for your startup nonprofit organizations. Many funders do not anticipate that it will cost them to start up their nonprofit organization. A lot of us have ideals about what we want to do and how we want to help the community. However, we have no idea where to get the funding. Any nonprofit organization, business, or product need to start with a funding plan. You must decide how much it's going to cost you and what fees and services that you have to pay to set up for your organization or your project. A nonprofit with a weak, find, um, weak funding at the beginning is unlikely to sustain, to sustain itself long enough to get funding for their program to get going. So what that means, if you don't have a sound structure for your finance or your organization to sustain itself to where it will get enough credibility, your, your organization is more likely to fail. You have to realize that you're going to have to invest into your organization. I've been doing this for 30 years, and there are a lot of organizations that say, hey, I want to start a, a nonprofit organization to start getting grants. That's a good thing. However, you don't realize is you have to build credibility for yourself. You can't just jump from starting a nonprofit organization to getting funding. Nobody is going to invest in your organization if you do not have credibility. You have to build credibility. What have you done in the past? What have you done in the future? What are your future goals? If you look on the website or if you look on social media, and you don't have any social media presence, if you don't have a website, if you don't have a logo, if you don't have a mission statement, if you don't have a vision statement, there is no way that people are going to invest in your organization. So, number two, the lack of financial knowledge means you're going to have to invest in yourself before people, volunteers, community members, and funders invest in you too. You have to invest in yourself first. Number three is thinking that starting a nonprofit organization is easier than it is. This is a serious mistake. It's harder to start a nonprofit organization than most people think. The process of incorporating state level and then applying for exempt status with the IRS is pretty difficult. The passion that you want to do 
and the community issues that you want to solve is a lot harder when it comes to relating to solving or, or creating the nonprofit that you want to do. You can't just say, hey, I want to help this in the community. I want to help homeless. And don't have a solid plan on how you're going to do it. The hard-nosed reality is it takes more to do the paperwork, the footwork, and the hard work to establish this organization than you may think. Most people think it's easy to say, hey, I want to help the community. Excellent thing. I was the same way. However, you don't realize that it costs money to help people. It costs money to be of help to people. Say, for instance, and I've done a lot of them, if you want to do a backpack giveaway, if you want to get backpacks to the community, that cost you. It costs you. It costs you and where you're going to get the backpacks. It's going to cost you where you have to store the backpack, the backpacks. Where are you going to transport the backpacks to your giveaway? It costs you and time to get the volunteers to give away those backpacks. I'm not saying this to discourage you. However, most people don't realize it costs you to be able or want to be able to give value and, and services and even a simple backpack giveaway cost. Number four. Oh. Whoo! Whoo! Number four. Building an effective board. Building effective board members. Man! Whoo! There's nothing that can make or break a nonprofit organization a new nonprofit organization than having an effective board. It might be putting together an active board. Your first board members are the circle of, an, of the influence of your nonprofit organization. These people are the, the nucleus these people are the people who have every effect on your nonprofit organization. If you do not pick the right board, you're destroying your nonprofit from the beginning. The most important thing for a nonprofit organization, a business, or anything is the board. If you're going to pick a board, you need to have a board that has full investment in your ideal project, nonprofit things, your mission statement, your vision statement. If you don't pick a board who has the same values that you have, these board members will destroy your nonprofit organization. These board members should believe in your organization's mission statement and are willing to sell your mission statements to others. These board members should be willing to invest their own I said again, their own money into the vision statement of these organizations, your organizations. If you do not pick the right board members, 
They will make your organization fail every time. I've made plenty of mistakes of accepting board members who didn't have the same vision that I had and they were on their own self-serving mission where they stole my ideals and some of the cases they literally wanted to vote me off of an organization and a project that I wanted to do because they had their own self-serving ideals. Your board members and having and building effective board members is everything to your nonprofit organization. Because when your nonprofit organization start to get that recognition, build that credibility off of the hard work that you do, and these board members who are not invested in your vision will destroy everything that you believe in. Having an effective board of people who you can trust is the most 100% thing that you can do as it relates to building your nonprofit organization, your projects, your YouTube channels, or anything that you're building. You must have people around you who you can trust. It's your boy, the Grantmaster. It's Grant Funding Friday. I will see you next Friday.